Leader McConnell said just yesterday that his agenda and the president's are exactly the same. But clearly, Elaine, they diverge on this issue. And he told me he hasn't had a chance to discuss it with the president yet. Well, Nancy, the administration's emerging budget proposal stands as a challenge to Republican budget hawks like Speaker Ryan. And today he reiterated that he still has hope that entitlement reform can happen. The numbers are inevitably going to be tweaked. But what's the state of play in terms of priorities and timeline? Well, Speaker Ryan said something very interesting this morning, Elaine. He said that while the president has uh, publicly made this blanket statement that he will not be touching Medicare and Social Security, that he actually believes that the White House is open to reforms to those two entitlement programs, just not for people who are currently getting benefits. So he seems to think uh, that the White House is going to be open to making some changes in the future. Right now, they've kind of got their hands full with Obamacare. That is completely going to monopolize both the White House and Congress legislatively for the next few months. Right after that, they've, they're have they planning to look at, um, at, at overhauling the tax code. So that's pretty much 2017 in a nutshell. But Speaker Ryan, who has been insisting for years that you cannot get your arms around the national debt and start to bring it down unless you look at entitlement reform, he's just going to have to wait a little bit longer. What about repealing and replacing uh, Obamacare? Of course, the Republicans are looking for guidance on uh, that. And I wonder what it is that you're hearing, Nancy, on Capitol Hill. So what it sounds like, Elaine, is that Republican leaders and the White House are working pretty much in lockstep at this point. And they say that their Obamacare replacement plan is nearing the final stages. But the problem is that they are trying to thread an incredibly tiny needle here. They are trying to make sure on one hand that they come up with a plan that doesn't result in millions of people who are uh, getting their insurance through the Affordable Care Act right now find out that they no longer can get the quality or cost of health care that they had before. On the other hand, uh, there are many conservative members here on Capitol Hill who feel that Obamacare is a bloated entitlement program and that the last thing they want to do is create another bloated entitlement program. And they say, look, I don't care if it's Obamacare subsidies or the replacement plans tax credits. I don't think the government should be in the business of helping people to buy insurance. And so uh, that's where Republican leadership is really stuck right now, because they can only afford to lose about 22 Republicans on the House side, only two on the Senate side, assuming, and you have to assume right now, that they get no Democratic support. So you can see how big their challenge is as they try to come up with something um, that, that, that pushes all of these buttons. And uh, we've seen situations before where um, uh, you've had a much easier task to, to try to come up with legislation that pleases everyone, and that hasn't worked. So, it, it, you know, it's, it's really daunting right now. Hmm. All right, Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill for us. Nancy, thank you. You're welcome.